Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Saturday afternoon action on the show. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates going up against the Atlanta Braves. Along with my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And Singy, we're going to see a nice little win streak put to the test today. Yeah, these guys are really fine. Just about set to go now. On the hill here today, Chris Sam. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss. We take a check of the Pirates lineup put together by manager Derek Shelton. And a big factor for them in recent games, Rowdy Telez. Yeah, Boog, this lineup is setting up the pins for him right now, and he's just smashing them. Driving runs in at a high rate over the last couple of series, and it just seems like he's oh, enjoying dude. every opportunity he gets in a big spot. Not everybody likes to be on the big stage in oh, those big moments, please. but right now he does. Those pressure moments almost seem to be what he's thriving off of. So we'll see if any of that comes up in this one. Been a pretty rough start to this no. series for him at the plate. Three Whoa. strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They've clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. That one pushed foul. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pop-up right side foul territory. And that's the third out. Down in order go the Pirates. And now the Braves will get their first crack at it. No score. This is Braves baseball. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Michael Harris. And he deals. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Drifts towards it. He's got it. And there's one away. Huge sigh of relief, I'm sure, for that guy out there on the bump to retire a great hitter like that for the first one of the game. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. In that leadoff spot, a guy they're looking to get going, Michael Harris. Yeah, and Boog, sometimes all you need when you're slumping like this is just a little bit of confidence. You need a little bit of luck. One at bat, where you hit the ball hard, maybe it's caught, no big deal. Or maybe you get a bleeder, it gets you a hit. You just need to feel good about the at bat, and that's when things start to turn a little bit. We'll see if he can do that in this one. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys oh. like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. The relay to the plate. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. Not sure if too many people have been paying attention to it quite yet, Singy. But that extends his hit streak to 11 now. Well, I know he knows about it, even if a lot of our viewers don't. And this is when it's clear it's no fluke. 11 games in a row. Man, that's when even the hitting coach starts to leave you alone. You're going so good that nobody wants to mess it up. Lifted in the air, right center field. Sizes this one up. Snags it for the second out. Matt Olson up Matt to the plate. Hit. The first base hit. Matt Olson. In the dirt. Well oh, done behind the dish. Man at second. That one, one missed. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So, got to stay ready for it. Ground ball up the middle. Johnson. Tosses to first. And Olsen is set down. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. The break. Back here in Atlanta. Second inning set to go. And now it's Rowdy Telez. 
rebound off to the right. Telez measures six feet four inches, 270 pounds, and he's driven in double digit runs over his last 10 games. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. And Acuna able to make the grab. Here's the Pirates that catcher now, Henry Davis. Henry Davis. Pitch is in for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. Swings through that one out in front that time. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. There's a swing and a drive. This looks like extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in, and he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Everything came together for him. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. And sale deals. Ball one. Ball one there. ripped and this one could be extra bases Davis headed for the plate he'll score and they've tied it's 1-1 one, one. and that's a double nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line you know hitters they take so many one reps out. in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game but right And it's second. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. One ball. Two strikes. And that's a base hit. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed him right. Goes to second for one. On the ocean. That's two. And a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. All even. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's the second baseman, Ozzie Albies. Oviedo back to work. This ball's chopped on the ground. Johnson fires over to first. And Albies is retired. Batting seven. No left fielder. Marcel. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Little chopper rolls foul. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. And it's second with one away. So here's Murphy now. Murphy. Close, but called a ball. One and oh. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there in the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Two and all to count. Here it comes. Ah. Swing and a miss. Strike Two one. Ball. And another ball. One out and a runner at second here in the second game of the series. Hater deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One down. Travis Darno next up for the Braves. 
homered last night, added another hit as well. Foul off down the right side. You'll warn. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Two on, one out. Four. And one and two. Two, two. In the dirt. Count moves to two and two as the runners hold. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next okay. offering is downstairs. Payoff pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. On the ground right side, and that one finds its way through. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Uh, just a great at-bat over there. Saw a lot of pitches. How much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play? That's a team to got right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And fouled off. Righty to the plate. One one. One ball. Out there, one pitch down. Next offering is down low. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Hit on the ground might be two. Off balance feed. There's one. On to Telez and the double play ends the end. Just try. Top half of the third inning at the plate for Pittsburgh. Number 26. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that is ball one. Bounce to third. And foul ball. The pitch. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Up and in. Two and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So the batting order turns over, and now the Pirates lead off, man. Now fly ball to right center. Harris racing after it. And he makes the grab. Two down. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. But the pitcher's his friend. He'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. McCutcheon in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Inside. Inside just missed. And he hits a ground ball right side. He takes it himself Ow. to the bag, and that'll do it. And one, two, three, go the Pirates. And we're back. Here's Orlando Arcia. That's your stop. Orlando. Oviedo back to work. Right side. Johnson. Throws the first in time. One gone, bottom of the third inning. And here the is right Ronald Acuna Jr. Jr. Doubled his Ronald first time on. Acuna Jr. That oh misses no. the zone. Ball one. That one ripped. Out of here. He sends a rocket to left. His second home run of the series, it's 2-1. Well, I'm sure 
sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like he was going to bend foul. He was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Right towards right center. That's well struck. That one hops against the fence. And he's got a double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. So, man aboard, Matt Olson now at the plate. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Olson, who gets a chance to play his home games in Truist Park, it's a pretty neutral ballpark. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back there. Can't make the catch as it falls into the gap. Rowe comes in quickly as the lead runner at third gets the stop sign. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. One oh. Right on top of it. This one in the dirt, and well done to keep it close. Traffic on the bases with one already in here in the last half of the third. Roll to Rowdy. Out number two and another run comes in. Now a chance for Marcelo Zuna. Doubled in his first A.B. One burner into the outfield for a knock. Runner from third comes across, and they lead by three. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Here's Sean Murphy. A yeah. swing and a miss as he chases no way One out of the zone. Here's your one. Pop foul out of play off to the right. That one, misses two. the zone. And a count one and two. Oh, that oh, one 95 three. to finish him off. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Brian Reynolds. Line drive, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Here's Rowdy Toledo. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ground ball right side could be two. All these. That's the first out in the top of the four. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Henry Davis. No, that's the Close ball. one, doesn't get the call. Ball one. In the air, out towards right center. Acuna after it. He makes the grab, and there's two down. Next is the Pirates' DH, Connor Joe. That Here's one at up. the knees for a strike. The Braves leading by three. Top Five. half of inning number four. He's clearly no out there throwing pitchers' pitches in this situation. First base is no, open. If he walks him, no big deal. And yeah, there's a the ball. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Ah. And Sale ties him up that time, gets the strikeouts. One of the things Chris Sale likes to do, get inside on the righties. Back at Truist Park, bottom of the fourth. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Travis Darno. Line drive, and that's a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. And next for Atlanta, Michael Harris. That's and a curve misses outside. You know, these Braves showing no great strike. discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played it four runs already, so I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. Tarno aboard here at first with nobody out. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs. And hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. Whoa. And another ball. Pitch misses inside. Full count now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Lace down the line. Could be extra bases. Darnell around second, headed for third. Safely into second. He's got a double. <laughs> On the mound now for the Pirates, Martin Perez. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. One runs in. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against the firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The Braves trying to break this one open. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Foul ball still 0-2. Could be two to second. That's one. And a run scores on the double play. He's so good at coming across the bag and snagging it with the bare hand to throw. I like the flair that he brings day in and day out. Right oh. up to him for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. That's inside corner, and that's called a strike. Two runs across in the inning here in the second game of the series. Line drive, base hit, right center field. And now Matt Olson up to hit. And that one wrapped foul. Left hand batter waits. And there's a foul ball. Bottom swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So two runs, four hits. No. As the lefty gets to work. Clobber to right field. Way back. A massive home run. His second of the year, it's 6-2. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I could feel that swing from the booth. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Aguero batting for the second time, and that's strike one. You know, these Pirates just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They haven't run a single count full in this ball game, and that's just wild to me. That stat alone shows they're making it way too easy to get them out. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Acuna makes the grab, and there's two gone. And now the Pirates lead off, man. That wow. one misses, and it's one to know. A swing wow. and a miss, and that's strike one. One more. Two out space is empty. The one one is fouled off. Part and three. down on strikes he goes. That ends the frame. Cannonball coming. Now a 6-2 ball game.
Bottom of the inning. Now with the plate, Ozzy Albies. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Bounced up the middle. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. It looked to me like he got on the side of the ball a little too much right there. Maybe a little too casual as well with the throwing motion. And when you don't stay on top of the ball and really get out front and finish with a good release point, it's very easy to lose control of it to either side. Activity in the bullpen. Ryan Barucki loosening up in case he's called upon by Derek Shelton. The 0 one. Foul ball. And a pitch. One, two. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. And here it comes. Ball. And the one, no. two misses to even the count. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Hammer, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me. Can't let it cleanly. Safe. Good effort. But now the bases are loaded. Hey, I got to give him credit for busting down the first to beat out that hit. Speed is obviously not a big part of his game. A little bit out in front of that off-speed pitch on the inside part oh, no. of the plate, but he did just enough to drop it in fair down the line. Out front, rip foul. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up something but you've got to make some pitches but if he no. can battle and get through this he can earn some points swing and a pop-up and the infield fly rule call now in for the Braves Michael Harris now one that's for that's three Hammer down the line, and now maybe extra bases. One run is in, two runs across now. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Two on, one out. The shortstop takes the ball. Hot shot to third. Throw over to Telez. That's the second out. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. He's already homered here in this one. Junior. A little out front there as he swings through it. No just ball. Been chased right. right there. Just pulled the string. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. Another homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 11 to 2. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that. Ryan gets the ball now. Well, he's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pin when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but. He's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. So two down. Here is Matt Olson. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight Whoa. in this one. And the first offering is not close. Olson, a former All-Star, 30 years old now. He's been on a terrific run at the plate. 
hitting over 350 in his last 10. Next offer in there for a strike. And a count one and one. Swings and misses and one down below the one zone. Ball. Good Two late time. sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Ah. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Acuna goes yard for the Braves. Five inning. Back here in Atlanta. New inning getting started. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Andrew McCutcheon. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. That was blasted to the moon. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 11-3. They wasted no time in that at bat. Swinging at the first pitch and he punished it. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Reynolds in the box now. No balls and a strike. Swing and a base hit. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Kicks and fires. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Olsen puts it away for the out. One away. Man at first. Henry Davis digs in now. Right through there for a strike. And that's in for a strike. One run across in the frame so far. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Lifted to left center, way back there, and that is gone. It's their second home run of the inning, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 11-5. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to... him for a wild an 0-2 mistake that's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone he left it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage with and that's exactly what he did Harris pulls it in and there's two away two outs base is empty Termar Johnson the next pirate to hit just a slow ground ball this time throw on to Olsen Ow. and that is the inning but two round trippers in this inning the long Bottom of the six. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Ozzy Albies. Lifted to left center. Way back there. And that is gone. Home run number 40 on the year. And they add a run. It's 12-5. His confidence is through the roof with the way he's been swinging it lately. He's on a really good run. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Ozuna no. at the plate now. That's ball one. You know, these Braves really producing with runners on. It's been a right place, right time kind of game for them. They've been good in those high-pressure moments, and they've come through with seven hits with runners in scoring He's position. Out. That's pretty awesome. Throws across the diamond. One away, <laughs> bottom of the six. Yeah. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Sean Murphy. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Softly hit the third. Throw over to Telez. Two away. And now it's Travis Darno at the play. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. That one ripped left field. Out of here. A home run off the foul pole. He'll touch them all. Second home run of the inning for him. It's 13-5.
First pitch change up, and he was all over it. Not sure if he was expecting off speed or not, but he picked up on the velocity and punished it. that thing down the line and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole and every time that happens it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something but really it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough ah. Harris the batter now as he swings and no misses ball. for strike Let's one strike. ground ball right side throw over to Teles gets him easily ends the inning but two round trippers in this in and we're back here comes a new arm for the Braves Ronaldo Lopez and he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year the numbers stack up with some of the best in the game and that one fouled off the pitch got him swinging I always see it more commonly in the sport these days, but man, a triple digit fastball ah. blown right by someone is still pretty awesome to witness. I mean, you got to be geared up and ready to swing it when a guy like this comes out of the bullpen because that fastball, it eats, and if you're not ah. ready, you're going to be welcome back to the dugout. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out, and there's two away. Very strong ball coming out of the pen so far as he punches one out ball. the first two no batters strike. he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so Throw on to Olsen, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Pirates with a new arm on the mound, Jose Hernandez. And one thing on him, he's been really now good this season at keeping the ball in the park. No Not an easy guy ball. to take deep. The pitch. On its way to the corner, McCutcheon running hard to get it. Long run, tracks it down. And there's one down. Ooh, the right was all over that first pitch fast, but he just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Here's Acuna now. He's already homered twice, the last one back in the fifth. Just seems like he can't miss right now, seeing the baseball as well as anyone on the field. Now, I know the odds are against him, but who's going to bet against this guy right now? Yeah, there's two away. Two outs, space is empty. Out. Austin Riley, right next up for the Braves. First pitch misses. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Colin Holderman getting loose out there. Late with the swing there. One one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. One, two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Ball. And that's outside. Two balls, two strikes. Stays alive. Two down, nobody on. Battling here as he fouls it away. Here comes a pinch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Back to right. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. And he's got to double his fourth hit. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. Man at second here with two away. Matt Olson, the next to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Oh. 
Swings through that one for strike two. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Runner at second, two down here in the second game of the series. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. We go to the eighth. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. That yep. one finds the zone. Going on. Lopez, 30 years old now, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. And it stays fair. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. These hitters today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around. Foul ball there. That one in triple digits. Just off the inside edge. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. Man, there was no deviation. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Home run number 10 on the year. It's 13-7. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Digging in, Henry Davis. Next offering is in for a strike. No ball, two strikes. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. The 0-1. That one fouled off. Two outs. Caught and missed. Struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. On to the bottom of the eighth, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, second baseman. Ozzie Albies. Ozzie. Albies. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty fought off foul. pitch popped up Johnson should have this one makes the grab one away now the left fielder oh, Marcelo left. Zuna no left fielder Marcelo Zuna swings through that one for strike one love to see it power versus power right there And he's down 0-2 as he swings oh, through it. Great deception with the change up there, and it's all about arm speed. If that arm speed can look just like the fastball, a lot of times you'll get that hitter to swing and miss. That no, one just misses the outside corner. Going to count one and two. Line drive, caught! It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Roll to Rowdy. He'll do it himself. Out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for the Braves. And welcome back to the ballpark. Stepping in, Termar Johnson. Pitches in there. Strike one. Out to short, Arcia. Tosses across Out. the first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Up next for the Pirates, Leover Piguero. Oh, no. The shortstop takes the ball. One oh. He swings and fouls one off. The one-two. 
Got him looking. Now only one out remaining. And now the center fielder. That one finds the zone. Strike one. They're down to their final strike. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify. Got it. And that wraps it up for this afternoon. Well, just another big win today, and everyone is jumping on board behind this ball club. They're playing so well. They're packing the stands, and it's just an exciting brand of baseball. We'll see how far it goes, but right now, no one thinks it's going to end anytime soon. The 13-7 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Three hours and 56 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen.